myself, Gamers, an old school fool, and I'm back from EVO. Pretty intense action, and uh, of course, I don't know if you guys got to see it at the show, but I was debuting this cool new product, and it's great because it's like Frosted Flakes. They're great. Actually, it's not Frosted Flakes, and then you can't eat this. So, however, uh, it's a really, really cool new product. I don't know if you guys had seen it at the show, but I'm going to show you guys now. Basically, it's called the Games. Uh, game spelled G-A-E-M-S. It's kind of weird. I don't know. Maybe it's Greek. It's Greek. Either way, it's pretty cool. It's a 15.5 inch portable video gaming unit. So it's kind of it's basically a screen, a carrying case. It's an all-in-one like pop and drop scenario. Literally, you can kind of take this on the road with you. And I was actually using one of these in my hotel room while I was practicing for some money matches. Um, didn't practice enough, obviously, uh, but however, it is pretty cool. It's called the G155 Mobile Gaming Environment, and it's an HD. So uh, you're probably wondering, well, what's the G for? Well, it's for the games. So let's see what else we can do with this bad boy, other than, you know, obviously look at the outside of the box. The box is pretty big. It is designed for three different systems, for PlayStation 3 Slim, for Xbox 360 Original, and Xbox 360 Slim. Now, you can use it for the original PS3, however, it doesn't fit as nicely as you'd want it to. So, uh, and it still works, so that's what counts. Alright, so we're going to take this bad boy, and uh, this unit actually doesn't really come with anything outside of what you see here, this huge box, uh, it's this actual hard plastic case with a power supply. So it's pretty simple. Um, I'm actually going to de-virginize this bad boy, and I'm going to show you guys this clasp, it's pretty nice. Um, and here we are. Uh, we actually have the film on it, this is a brand newbie in here. And I'm going to take these bad boys off for you guys, just for you at home, so you guys can see how clean it really is. Now, when the unit starts out, that's my unboxing, actually it's an unwrapping, if you will. So, if you take a look at it, uh, the actual HDMI port is in the front. Okay, everything you need here is in the front. Now, it's a kind of a cool portable unit here. It folds right out to the 15 and a half. And now, mind you, I'm going to tell you guys the price later on. But this is a great deal for what it's worth right now. Okay, so you have the HDMI, it's the only input you have. Okay, there are no outputs. It's a pretty compact unit. So you do have the input here. Uh, it's only HDMI only, so you're gonna have to get a cord. This one's a little on the long side, because that's all we had to show. But if you get like a nice small one foot cord, it packs it even nicer. Okay, so we have the power, uh, the power button, the power supply that connects in the front of it. You have two headphone jacks. So if you guys don't wanna listen to the sound, uh, you can totally bump it in your headphones. So if you have a pair of Tritons or a pair of uh, you know, uh, Turtle Beaches, you can definitely hear everything just pounding through the system on uh, two separate channels there, okay? It does have its own volume. I'll, let, I'll show you guys the volume in a second. And of course, it has also has the brightness. So if it's not bright enough for you, depending on the light situation, it definitely is adjustable, okay? And then of course we have, it, it actually has a menu, so you have your own contrast, saturation, I mean you can kind of customize, to. I mean it's, it's a limited customization, but once again this is a total portable unit, it has stereo sound, has HD capability, has 720p, it's not 1080i, 1080p, but let me just tell you something, it's pretty clean for what it is, alright, um, I mean seriously, we're going to even test it with some fighting, uh, some fighting titles, we we'll try it with vanilla, um, and so let's take a look here. And uh, yeah, um, you have two uh, two pouches that are Velcro down. You can either use this for extra space, put some snacks or some chips or some whatever. Uh, I suggest not putting any drinks in here. Uh, but you can use them to you know store your controllers, your wires. They also come in really nicely here. So now see, you can either either or take them or leave them on the other. So these are all the controllers and accessories and the wires. All right. So we're gonna t uh, we're gonna turn the screen off for a second. Now, when it comes on, it actually has its own little logo screen. So you see the big G for greatness. The G for greatness. Okay. And uh, let's take a look. Now, I haven't tried it. This is gonna be the first time I'm gonna be trying with Street Fighter to see if there's any type of latency for you guys, fighting gamers out there. But I was playing it with Soul Calibur, some old school stuff. I actually have it, actually the Dreamcast up to this, so I had it converted, of course, but uh, definitely was possible. So, let's come with the splitters. So, let's pop this bad boy in. Let's, let's quit. 
Now, if you listen to the, I'm gonna put the uh, put the sound up. So you can see it's at 720p. Automatically, it starts out at 480. So you have to go into when it detects for the PS3 or the unit for the first time, it's gonna uh, detect the lowest settings possible, and then you're gonna have to set the settings on the unit, the output to the screen, so it detects at 720. So let's take a look here. I'm gonna run that. I'm gonna shut the lights off of you guys right now to kind of see like the actual vibrance of the screen when you're on the go. So let's take a look. Lights out. And the nice thing is kind of cool in the dark because if you notice it, you can actually see like all the buttons are have their own LEDs behind them. I love this song. Street Fighter 4. It's a little tinny sound wise, but. close up once again you have everything here you need for uh, you know for for on-the-go play I mean honestly you could probably pop up at 12 of these bad boys and kind of start your own mini tournament in a random warehouse somewhere it's pretty cool stuff uh, the price right now it is $2.99 yes it's $2.99 now I gotta say before for the price you're getting an actual uh, you know you get an actual case a carrying unit organizational unit and the fact you're getting a nice HD monitor $2.99 is not so bad, so you definitely want to check it out, guys. Once again, you guys can go to DosCheat.com to pick up the new games G155 mobile gaming unit. Uh, I'd love to see hear you guys' reviews on it. Uh, like I said before, we have used it on the Xbox 360 Slim and the PS3. I uh, have seen pictures of people using it in the regular 360 and the regular PS3. Once again, we haven't tested it out, but I don't really think it's going to be much of a big deal because it's standard HDMI. All right, gamers, once again, thanks so much for watching, and tune to us next time for the newest and coolest in video games and tech. Guys.